Well, good day, folks. We're having a look at uh, some habitat on the salmon and trout stream in Antigonish, Nova Scotia. And just wanted to do a video today highlighting the importance of large woody debris. Favorite topic of uh, mine on this channel. It is the absolute most critical component for an ecosystem, an aquatic ecosystem, or river habitat to restore itself. And here's a prime example. We're on a, right on the bend of a river, and this large hardwood is kind of fetched up at what we call the tail end control of the pool. And so that's the point in the pool that really dictates how deep the pool is. And the only way that you can really deepen a pool in most of our rivers it isn't through scouring out a pool it's actually through the deposition of sediment or i should say substrate at the tail end of the pool so if you look at this has been a multi-step process so always keep in mind that your changes to in-stream habitat only occur in about two percent of the flows and those are your bank fold discharge events so on this river this year from January 1st to October 17th, we've had nine bank full discharge events. Nine days out of, well, let's see, almost 300 days. So not very often we get those flows. What happened last spring, we had this large, old, rotten spruce come down, big old limbs on it. And you can see it's collecting what we call detritus your organic material, newly to, newly fallen in leaf litter. All of those things are critical for your invertebrates, which is the basis of the food chain for Atlantic salmon and brook trout. So that was step one. The spruce tree fell in. Then we had Hurricane Fiona about three weeks ago, and this large hardwood fetched up. And these, this is where they fetch up on the tail end control where the water gets shallow. Um, these logs that are floating down the stream get hung up on the stream bed and they fetch up. Now look at what is happening already here. Gravel is beginning to deposit behind this uh, tree. And you can see it's starting to narrow up below. A lot of gravel dumped out on the other side of it. So what I anticipate happening with this tree over the next 12 months is more gravel is going to accumulate behind it. That's going to create spawning habitat. The deeper your stream bed, the deeper the resources, if you will, your invertebrate population has to go down. Because what they do is they're taking leaf litter and dead material within the stream they're clinging on to it and they're burrowing down into the substrate, eating it. Sometimes they'll use it to wrap themselves and make almost a cocoon. And as they emerge from their larval stage into the nymph stage and so forth, that carbon that they bring down with them stays and something else will eat it. And that something else might be some sort of a bug, which will eventually enter the water column and becomes part of the food chain. So this is how important the carbon cycle is to rivers. So I know we're going to have a lot of people wondering, what are we going to do with all the wood that's entered the streams after Hurricane Fiona? And the best thing you can do is leave it. It's like putting fertilizer on a field. Carbon, organic matter, that is the basis of productivity in all our uh, ecosystems. And on a final note, just again, we're building up the tail end control of this pool through the deposition of large woody debris. When it comes to digging pools, it's much like building topsoil on a field. You can only build it up. So if we want to make a deeper pool, we have to actually bring the stream bed up, not dig it down. And when we do that, all sorts of good things happen that benefit the ecosystem. You're encouraging uh, the retention of groundwater, so your riparian zone is going to become more vibrant and also more drought resistant. So I thought this was a great example of how large woody debris 
can fetch up at the tail end of a pool and actually add depth to the pool upstream. So another fine example of large woody debris. I know a lot of people are worried about it. Don't despair. It's critically important that this process unfolds. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you like this content.